If you want to get these kind of speed results for an Elementor based website on a page that uses an Elementor template with a whole bunch of plugins installed on the site, a legit website, and you want these kind of speed results, a 98 on mobile with a 1.3 second load time and a 100 on desktop with a 0.6 second load time, then watch this video because I'm going to show you how I did it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. To sign up for NitroPack, just go to nitropack.io. There's a link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link, so if you do purchase through that link, I do get paid a commission, but it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that I get some kickback and that helps me keep making these videos. And there is a free plan as well. So if you go to the pricing page, you can have the free option, this first column, for up to 5,000 page views per month on a single website. They say it's perfect for testing, but I know a lot of websites don't get 5,000 page views a month. So you can just use the free account if you're under that limit. But you also have to have a Nitro Pack badge in the footer of your site. But if you're okay with that, that's totally cool. And of course you have the option to upgrade whenever you need to, to have more page views available and bigger CDNs. And these are all for one website. As you can see here, all one website. So click on start for free, add your website name here, add your website URL here, and then click on add site. I'm not gonna do this because I already have an account. So this is how you create the free account to follow along in this video if you want to. In my own account, I already have two websites in here, wplearninglab.com, which is my main site, and then this demo site right here. We're gonna add another website today. So the process I'm gonna go through is the same as what you're doing here, where you add the website name and the URL. I'm just gonna add these inside of my NitroPack account by clicking on add new site, enter the website URL and the website name, I'm just going to use the free subscription for this one because I'm doing it as a test to see if it actually speeds up my site. And then if it ends up speeding up my site, then I can upgrade to the paid one if I want to. Click on proceed. And even though you can only buy these options over here on the pricing page for one site each, you do have a connected dashboard. So you have all your sites listed here. You can have as many as you want, but you're paying for each site individually. So you might have some free sites, might have some paid sites, you might have some sites on this plan right here, others on this plan right here, or what have you. But you have one dashboard for all your sites. Let's go ahead and open the site we're gonna install this on, which is this one right here, rvingwithfamily.com. This is kind of a hobby site. We do a lot of RVing in the summers. So it's a little fun website to add content to. I don't really take it too seriously, but this site is a real functioning live website with traffic. And so the testing we're going to do in this video when we install NitroPack and see the site speed improvements, it is an actual legit site. It has 29 active plugins, which is number of plugins you might see in a regular site. It uses Elementor templates. It has rank math. It has advanced ads for the forms. It has crockle block for our, um, our header slider at the front of the site. Let's take a look at it right now. I didn't add image for the first post, so there's no image up here. But this would be a slider with an image normally, and there's blog posts down here and images, and this is all an Elementor template. The entire site, every page is an Elementor template, and so we're gonna see what kind of site improvement we can get. So before we do anything else, let's test the speed of the site in Google PageSpeed Insights. Paste the URL in there, click on Analyze, and if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And here we have a 15 and 8.7 second to first contact full paint, not great. This is for mobile desktop, 51 and 2.2 seconds, also not great, but substantially faster than on mobile. And what we really care about is the first content full paint because when someone comes to your site, the reason you want a fast site is so they don't bounce off. And people tend to bounce off for a couple of reasons. One of them is the content, for whatever reason, is not what they're looking for, so they bounce. But another big reason is the content's just not appearing on their screen, or it looks like nothing's happening on their screen. And so you want to have the first content full paint appear as quickly as possible, so your visitors think, oh, okay, it's loading, something's happening, I can wait a little bit longer. But if nothing's loading for too long, they just leave. So that's the number I really care about for site speed. Now that we have this baseline, we are going to pop into the dashboard and install NitroPack. And then go to plugins and add new. 
search for nitro pack all one word this is what I want right up here click on install now and then activate now we have to add our API key details we can scroll down nitro pack in our plugin list and click on settings or we can also go to settings on the left and then choose nitro pack from the menu let's click on connect to nitro pack we are logged in to the dashboard over here as you know so it'll connect right to that dashboard we can choose the site you want to connect by clicking on connect there's a link right here that says enter details manually so if that connection for whatever reason doesn't work you will click that link enter details manually and then click on the plug the power plug here and these are the details you need to enter the site id secret key and you have two fields for that you enter those details and it will connect manually so now the nitro pack is up and running we are going to set some settings automatically on my account the optimization mode is set to ludicrous which is the most optimization and nitro pack does pretty much everything automatically if you don't want ludicrous mode you want to start on a lower mode just click on the lower level and now it's updated to that lower level and then you can see if your site's broken or not if it's not broken go to the strong level for more optimization and again if the site's not broken go to ludicrous mode and keep optimizing more and more while making sure your site still works as it should I'm going to turn on under settings on the right here the cache warm-up which will allow us to cache pages without them having visitors yet normally when you have a caching plugin when a visitor visits a specific page that's when that page is then cached by the plugin this is going to go and cache pages preemptively before there are any visitors to the pages so I'm going to click on yes and we're going to enable that warm-up I'm going to turn on HTML compression right here then we're going to go into our nitro pack dashboard and set a few things in here as well I'm going to click on settings and ludicrous mode like I said has the most optimization settings automatically applied out of all of these setting levels standard medium strong ludicrous manual you can do it manually that's only for advanced users so ludicrous is the strongest optimization but we can still add a couple things on we can improve server response time that's on automatically you can turn on safe mode which allows you just to test a specific URL to see if something breaks or not this is what you want to do on a high traffic website that you really care about this one is kind of my hobby site and it's okay if something breaks I'll just fix it but if you don't want things broken ever you want to be as safe as possible you can turn on safe mode you can optimize only specific URLs by turning this on and pasting them in here then only those pages will be optimized you can exclude specific URLs if you want everything optimized except for certain pages there's the option for that here you can cache Ajax URLs you can cache custom CSS you can ignore parameters in the URLs exclude cookies exclude resources I'm going to keep most of these turned off because I want to have all these things optimized you can delay scripts if you want to turn this on click on add delayed script paste the script URL in here which you can get from your source code and that would be used for things like chat widgets and marketing script like promotional pop-ups a lot of the scripts are going to be deferred by nitro pack on ludicrous mode so you don't necessarily need to do this unless you find there is a script blocking your speed which you can see in Google PageSpeed Insights so I'm going to turn that off for now I'm not going to add scripts there I'm going to turn on one thing down here and that is optimize ads so turn that on it says here this could interfere with ad thrive media vine so if you're using those don't turn this on this site is using adsense so i'm going to turn this on and if something breaks i can always come back and turn it off again let's go up here save settings let's see how our preemptive cache is going we currently have two pages cached it doesn't tell us here which pages these are and we want to test the home page for speed so i want to make sure the home page is cached so let's go in here and go to optimizations this will show us all the pages that are currently cached or pending or skipped why these were skipped I don't know but they were um, let's see optimized we have not the home page and probably the mobile version of that one as well so I'm just going to pause this video I'm going to wait until we've cached the home page and then we will test the speed on the home page and see how fast we're going we're back and most of our pages have been optimized and cached some haven't some are in red if we scroll down in the status column we can see some of these were returned as forbidden meaning the server didn't allow access to those pages for whatever reason what I would do if this happens is just hit the garbage can to purge the URL and purge the cache for that page and then I'll try optimizing it again and usually that clears it up and you can also up here under statuses sort by whatever status you're looking for in this case we choose not optimized click the garbage can for all the not optimized ones and then hopefully it'll be optimized 
So if I scroll through here and go to page two, we're looking for the home page. The home page has been optimized, I saw. Here it is right here. Both desktop and mobile are optimized. And beside every URL, we see a little clock icon. This shortcuts us to Google PageSpeed Insights so we can see how fast that page is loading. Before we do that, though, we want to make sure that the page is loading correctly visually and content-wise. So if I head into the website again, and just open the home page, this image up here and this one here was loading before anyway, so those still aren't there because I didn't add a featured image to that post. And the other ones are loading properly. If I click into these, I want to see if these pages are loading, the individual pages themselves. Even though we're going to speed test the home page, it could be other pages that are loading more slowly. But that all appears to be working fine. So now I'm going to click this little clock icon. Let's go for mobile and see how fast this page loads. And that appears to be lightning fast. This is mobile, 98 on mobile. I've never seen a score this high. Let's start with that. First content full paint in 1.3 seconds, which according to Google is good because it's in green. Everything else is green as well. So that's fantastic. Some other things we could still fix. Remove unused CSS. So this is Nitro Pack, combined CSS style sheets, and some inline CSS. So you could go and dig through that and remove those things. Properly sized images. Doesn't like the logo because I think I used Astra and I shrunk the logo down in the Astra customizer settings. So this wants us to size the logo for exactly the space that it requires on the page. So you can fix that. But even without fixing those things, I think a 98 is pretty solid considering we barely touched any of the settings. Put on ludicrous mode, we changed two things, site still worked, test it, and bada bing bada boom, 98 on mobile. If mobile is this high, I bet you can guess what desktop is. If you guessed 100, you'd be right. 0.6 second load time. I ran this test a couple times, and I actually had this down to 0.3 for some of the tests, but I'm pretty happy with 0.6. There are no recommendations at all for anything to change, and we're at 100. So Nitro Pack is worth your while setting it up for sure, especially considering we're using the free account, which you can use for up to 5,000 page views. If we go back to the Nitro Pack dashboard, there are some more things. There's the settings we saw, Kector website we saw, cache warmup. We saw this on the site. This allows us to pre-cache pages. Service usage log shows you how much usage there is. Here we see some usage spikes because that's today. And there's billing, account, and affiliate if you want to resell it. Next up, check out this video right here where I show you how to use the Asset Cleanup plugin, which you can use to turn off certain scripts on certain pages, which Nitro Pack does not do. So you can potentially speed up your site even more, if that's even possible, using this video right here. So make sure to check that out. And then check out the WordPress Speed Up playlist down here if you need any other help with speeding up WordPress. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.